Howdy, folks. Paulie here. It's been a while. Good to see all of you. Uh, been busy in my personal life. Changed jobs. Been to conventions. It's been a lot of good stuff. 2023 was a very interesting year for me on a personal level, uh, but it's all good. Got a great new job. Uh, now, which is fantastic, and I've been writing a lot of music as well, still. Um, but I wanted to talk about something I'm not composing today. I'm going to talk about the amount of music that's in a single episode of reality TV. So I was on a flight to Vegas last week for a convention, and uh, I was flying Southwest, and they have free live TV, maybe about a dozen channels or so. And I noticed that there is a show called Vanderpump Rules on Bravo. Um, I've never watched the show. But it's a popular reality show. So I said, let me give it a listen, uh, take some notes. And this will kind of give me an understanding of what that particular show um, uh, is using. It's a very popular show. I have to be working with a library that places a lot of music there on that network. So on my two and a half hour flight to Vegas from where I'm, I'm at, um, you know, a, an hour long episode. And I took a bunch of notes. And so I've got this document right here. And what I did was I actually converted this to a spreadsheet so you can see. But that's what it looks like. I don't know if this is showing up or not. Um, handwritten notes, small pad, you know, on a plane, squished, Southwest, no business class, just writing stuff. And I want to walk through this to show you what I did and, and share with you why I think it's important that you do this if you want to be successful in sync music. So let me open up one of these guys right here. So. Uh, Vanderpump Rules, hour-long show. That means roughly 48 minutes of actual TV, and the other 12 minutes or so is commercials. And so what I did was, I, again, with my sheet right here, I started at the, uh, the top left and just started going down every time I heard a piece of music. I, I watched the show, and I couldn't pause it, so I had to kind of move quickly. But you can see, I started at zero, and like most reality TV shows, you know, you're, the drone flies in from the skyline or over the town or whatever, and it's club music, EDM, you know, you know, dancing music, things of that sort. And so you come in. I don't have the time to jot down how long uh, each of the, uh, the cues is, but I add a little asterisk to the ones that played for long, longer periods than the rest. But, so starting at the beginning, club music comes in, and then you've got this EDM drama. So EDM, it's more club music, but a little more serious, and a little funk. And then you start seeing some trends. Dramedy, pizzicato. Pizzi, short for pizzicato, which is a string that makes that, when you pluck the strings with your finger on a violin or a viola or whatever, pluck, pluck, pluck. That's called pizzicato. So I call it pizzi. Um, a lot of times spell check, change that to pizza. That's fine. But yeah, so I start, just kind of started going through the show, listening, and you, like I said, you can't pause, can't fast forward. Write down what's happening. And you start seeing um, trends. And, and, and repeat uses of certain genres. And what's really cool about this is that you can see what kinds of music this particular music editor is using. So if I switch from the black and white version to my color version, now I've, I've colored similar genres together. So trap, trap is very, very popular, has been for a long time, I think it will be a long time going forward. Uh, so all the pink and the red, that is trap related music, trap beats, trap pits underscore, trap drama. Green is club music, EDM you know, type stuff. A uh, drama is the yellow, uh, and in this case blue just shows the commercial breaks. So you gotta get a quick visual as to what kind of music is being used. So we got uh, the first section before commercial, from the club music intro at the top down to the trap drama orcs before commercial, it's 16 cues uh, were used in that first segment. Then four minutes of commercial, come back in, club music intro, and more trap drama, trap drama, a uh, little hip hop shuffle, EDM, club music, more club music, blah, blah, blah. 14 cues in the second segment. Commercial, uh, four minutes, and then boom, a whole bunch of trap. You know, you got your story arc for the show. Um, so, that, you know, Vanderpump Rules is about, I don't know, these people with relationships, uh, like all reality TV, lots of drama, unnecessary crap. You know, one of the occupational hazards of, of uh, writing music for TV is that you sometimes have to watch a lot of silly TV shows, at least silly to me, uh, in order to learn how to be successful. So segment three uh, had a whole lot of trap. Then commercial at 30 minutes, and then trap underscores from drama. Uh, but now we got a story arc happening as we get to section four at the 44 minutes, 13 tracks there. A lot of yellow here. There's some drama going on. There's a couple that's going through some stuff. And so lots of drama and instrumental music there. Um, there were no vocal songs in this entire episode that I recall. I might have ignored that. Maybe a couple of the club 
um, transitions may have had vocals, but they were really short, five, six, eight seconds long, etc. And so at the end of the show, the 48 minutes of actual music usage, there were 78 total placements in this particular episode. I've done this exercise probably 10 different times. I think the most I've seen in a single episode was a Kardashians episode several years ago that had 120 different uh, music items within a one hour episode. So that's really all I wanted to talk about was show you that you can just treat this like a business, do your homework, research the music, research the shows, find a show that play or use the kind of music that you write. I could have easily done a cooking show with a lot of rock and roll or, or a, you know, a Texas car repair show with a lot of metal um, or a Duck Hunters type show with that kind of music. I mean, find shows that play the music that you write, then sit down with your pad and your pencil and do this. And you'll soon uh, see trends. And if you can, record those shows on your DVR. Then you can go back and pause and listen. Okay, I said drama, uh, uh, trap, dramedy, pitsy. What was that? And uh, not hear what bass did they use? What was the instrumentation? And you can usually hear it. So you can find out exactly what they're doing. So treat it like a business. Do your homework, do your research, and you can be successful and learn and optimize your composing time. Hope that was useful. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.